This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is a show where trucks and SUVs make the big news on an annual basis. And Toyota kept that tradition intact with a TRD version of the Tundra truck and the full-size Sequoia SUV. The brand also showed off another version of the RAV4 crossover, the Adventure model, that gets bigger wheels, an aggressive paint job, and skid plates for intense off-roading. Since Chicago claims the title of the largest auto show in the country in terms of visitors, other brands also brought out new models as well. Nissan, which is making a serious effort in the light-duty truck market, introduced the King Cab version of the Titan, serving notice on the rest of the industry. We are now about to play in 85% of the truck segment. A year ago, we were playing in less than 50% of the truck segment. Essentially, we were non-players. We had less than half a point of market share. Chicago, this is not a town you come to with a half-stepping game. In fact, you better bring your A game for everything. And Chrysler did that this year with this, the Durango SRT, a model that some engineers say should have been created several years ago when the entire platform was redesigned. The three-row SUV now gets a 392 cubic inch V8 engine, cranking out 475 horsepower. And for bragging rights, it turns a quarter of a mile time of 12.9 seconds per the National Hot Rod Association. If a driver isn't sure how to handle the SRT, Dodge is providing a full day of performance training with each purchase. Mitsubishi, which has been enjoying some success with the Outlander Sport, presented the limited edition of the crossover with upscale wheels, interior, and other visual features while trying to keep the price point below the competition. Hyundai didn't have a truck or SUV to brag about, but instead presented the third generation of the Elantra GT hatchback. It will come with two engine offerings and an optional seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. It's being positioned as an alternative for drivers who want capability but don't need a crossover or SUV. While Chevrolet didn't show off a new model, they did capture attention with the Lego Batmobile to tie in with promotion of the movie. And to prove that a lot of people are still kids at heart, the company let folks collect enough pieces to try and build their own version. Underscoring the old saying that the only difference between men and boys is the size and cost of their toys. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.